Hey guys, welcome to part two. Um, about a week on, two weeks now from any work I've done on this game, but I've basically got everything back together as it should be. Um, the only thing I think I'm missing is uh, instruction cards for the apron at the minute. Uh, it all went together, back together fairly easy, to be quite honest. The worst thing was uh, actually the worst thing was discovering that like once I put the ramps and stuff back on, um, it was quite hard to get some of the plastics back on underneath them, like uh, these ones here. So if you were taking one of these apart, just bear that in mind, put the plastics back on first everything else. The only thing I've just remembered is I need to put some nuts back under the, uh, one under the, uh, the plastics. One of the most amazing things was um, this sling plastic here, the red one underneath, it focuses, it still had uh, protective coating on the plastic pieces. I don't know if like, it's as old as the game and it came like that from the factory or if someone bought a replacement at some point, probably that. But you know, uh, as far as I can tell it should all be working because like, that just sits on two massive plugs that went back in easy enough through the play field. Got some more new plastics in place, the mountain and that one there in the top left is uh, new. So, you know, basically I've just got a few little more things to do and it can go on its legs. Give it a play test really, so uh, stay tuned and see how it goes. I'm sure we'll discover some more problems crop up along the way, but you know, hopefully not too many. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next bit. Okay guys, and there she is back together. Uh, once I kind of put everything back on, it wasn't too bad. Uh, the supercharger went back on pretty easy. Uh, it all works, which is great. Um, I had a few little niggling things. The first thing I discovered was uh, the rear diverter ramp back there, kind of hard to see, didn't work. Um, wire was off, soldered it back on and then it was just popping up and down constantly but uh, thanks to the guys on Pinball Info, uh, particularly Crispy and a few others who kind of highlighted it might be a mechanic before I actually found out the screw. There's like two um, coils and the coil that holds it up, the screw underneath was loose so just tightened it up and it now holds up no problem and the game's playing with no faults at all. Um, Rebuilt flippers are working really well. Um, apart from a few places, it's all LED, but I've got a friend coming over tonight who's got some extra LEDs so I can swap them out. Um, it's mostly sort of green up the back with some other colours here and there where I've just used what I had. Um, what else? Oh, I want some LEDs for the supercharger and the Red Line Mania. Uh, the only one I can't get to work is that hot bumper because the wire for the light has actually snapped and I think to sort it out I'd have to get a new one or take the whole thing apart and honestly I'm not doing that because of this game and when you're playing the games when you're stood sort of here you can't actually see that pop bumper anyway because the supercharger ramps in the way uh, what else put the, the color display in it that's all working really nice so from a friend which I'll pay for. Uh, the translite, like I say, not too bad. It's got a few nicks, scars here and there, but overall, you know, it's fine. The beacon works great. Um, you know, the uh, the play field, like I say, it's not in great nick, but for a sight game, it's fine. Just put some uh, cards on, which I'll probably swap one out when I have to put uh, the pricings on the stuff because like I say this is going to be a site game so let's go ahead. Other than that, nothing to tell. Um, the sound sounds really good, it plays fine. I haven't checked the coin mech yet to see if that works, if that needs reprogramming. Uh, but it should be okay. I'm fine with how the colours have turned out. The green up the back's fine because it's all like kind of greeny mountains and I just chucked in what LEDs I kind of had really. Um, you know, all the lamps work, all the targets work, everything basically. There's no credit dots, so I'm happy. Um, standing on its legs, so you know, the new uh, bolts go in great. They were pretty good. There's a new lock bar on it, so that's good. Uh, shifter works fine. 
Uh, and yeah, like I say, nothing to report other than that. It's in okay condition. I've just got it here sideways so I can get the glass off because there's the other games sitting there, which are, uh, you know, obviously uh, stay here. So yeah, uh, we're going to give it a really good play test, make sure nothing else has gone wrong. The only thing I have found that occasionally keeps happening is this flipper. Uh, with the rebuild kit you get a little spring and that's what brings it back to position the small spring kind of keeps falling off so kind of twisted it round the uh, the hole that goes in a bit more just to make sure it's all right uh, on that nothing really to report everything in the game's working pretty well uh, yeah so what I'll put up on the channel next is a gameplay video. I already played it last night. I had a cracking game on it. Got nearly half a billion points, which was excellent. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's like I say, it's, I haven't taken this game apart completely. I've basically just got it to a good working point so it can go on site. That's all I ever wanted out of it. So I'm really happy with that. So uh, I will catch you on the next video.